Hi Gamesters, I hope you're all well. Um, here we are, another day at work. Um, just on my way to Ipswich to do something. So I thought, let's have a little dress because I'm actually driving to work. Hopefully I don't get pulled up. And uh, obviously I'd like to uh, address my fans. So, here we are. So, if I go quiet in between, it's just I'm just concentrating, obviously, what's going on up ahead. So, please forgive me. Obviously, I must concentrate on the road, even though I'm talking to you. Um, anyway, I hope you're all well. Yeah, since I last done a video, obviously, a bit, bit more has happened in the world. We're, we're locked down further. Um, you know, it's... Uh, it's a funny old time at the moment, isn't it? It's not, it's not, it's not anything to, uh, not anything to be right home about. It's a bit, you know, where we're we going. But as I've said in previous videos, and I'm, I'm sort of trying to maintain it myself, we must all stay positive to a certain extent. Do as we're told, and you know, that long and get through this together. We will do it. Of course we will. This, the world's resilient, people are resilient. We will kick these things back, but we've got to uh, actually go through a little bit of pain to get there. Um, hopefully with all the vaccinations and everything, it's going to get a little bit sweeter and a bit better. I hope. So, I hope you're all keeping well. And there hasn't been any bad news out there in, uh, in the real world. I'm still working, which is uh, a blessing. Although it is a bit slow and taking the odd day off, but still doing something. I'm, I'm definitely one of those people who need um, my purpose in life. I don't cope well when I have nothing to do or nothing to get up for. Um, it's, you know, and, and it's sad with a lot of people, and I can see a lot of people it's all, after a while it becomes a habit, you know, and they get stuck in that rut then, which isn't good. And hopefully, touch wood, I managed uh, not, to, not to get stuck in that rut. So I'm just watching what's going on in the other line for some reason. There's a, a vehicle with flashing lights and that's leading stop the traffic. Heaven knows, anyway, that's me being nosy. What do they call it? They call it rubbernecking, don't they? Uh -huh. I was having some thoughts um, about, you know, people often ask me, you know, why, why this certain uh, material? Why do you wear rubber? So I've thought about it quite a few times. Obviously, yes, it's a, it's a fetish, it's a sexual thing. But also, it is a psychological thing as well. In that we're all, uh, we all have a comfort blanket, if you like. And my comfort blanket is my rubber. So even for me, a silly little thing like this, I mean, I'm not driving along sexually excited I feel quite chilled out and that's when I wear it normal times that's a lot of the time it's it's, it's like putting on a comfy cardigan and slippers or something you know you, you, you put it on and it, it, it basically chills you out and you you know relax you now relax it's, it's a funny thing you know it hasn't always got to be sexual I think a lot of rubberists agree with me there, and it is it is part of being a rubberist. You you know you you, you get enjoyment out, out of wearing the clothes, um, you know, in all ways. But there is also that psychological thing. You know, you can almost crave it sometimes. You can feel it building up, and you you know, think, oh, I need, I really need to get dressed at some point. And um, you know, you you do eventually. You do get dressed and you're, you're really happy and all the better for it. It's 
put me out. It's quite an enjoyable thing, even just doing the waiting stuff and sit there and watch telly, you know. It's, it, it, can, it can sort of make a bad day good sometimes. It may sound a bit strange to some people, but I think a lot of you get what I'm saying. You know, it's like having a hard day at work and saying, right, I'm going to go home and put my fluffy pyjamas on and, uh, you know, my, my slippers. And, and a lot happier for it. Um, so yeah, similar similar thing really with this. So that's a, a little explanation into it. Um, you know, it is basically just an enjoyable thing. Anyway, that was a little five minute rambling from me. So hopefully, touch, get our heads down, and get through this bloody Covid rubbish and get back to normality and uh, uh, as I always say, please keep your eyes out there, keep your eyes for people who are on their own, you know, we all know a few people who struggle, you know, so let's uh, let's be there for them, let's, you know, let's make sure they're they've got someone watching over them because it, it isn't nice at the moment and even someone who is shut up on their own it's, it's, it, I, can imagine, I cannot imagine how unpleasant it must be and the thing is it's going on such a long while I imagine a lot of people are despairing and thinking you know is it ever going to return to normal you know they're just they're never going to know which is awful Anyway, Gimsters, I love you all to death. Stay safe, be kind, be nice, and I'll speak to you very soon.